I've been feeling tired for months. Usual aches and pains. First I just thought it was the booze, so I didn't do nothing about it. Then when I got back from Florida, I started to feel bad. I mean, really bad. Did you tell Sharon? No. I just told her it was the food, put it down to jet lag. Then I went to see Dr. Legg, and he sent me to a specialist, Mr. Elliot. You know when I went off for a few days to stay with Sonny and Ray? I never. I went into hospital. They did some tests. They gave me anesthesia. No, 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 they're going to call the details, all right? No, 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 I can't take medical things, you know that. Just, just, just tell me what they said. Well, Mr. Elliot was surprised you never come with me. Perhaps you should hear it direct, eh, Dan? Do you want to come? Where is it? It's a clinic. No, 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 no. What you... Um, where is it? Well, no, 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 no. Just, just tell me what the treatment is. There isn't any. Well, it's got to be. They've got to do something. They can't just hand you a death sentence. I'll tell you what. Harley Street. We'll take you to the best guy in Harley Street. Oh, dear, we've tried all of that. And? It's hopeless. You know me. I'm hopeless case, and I... I don't believe it. Just don't believe it. Well, uh, well, I guess this stands everything on his head, doesn't it? Not necessarily. Well, of course it does. Why did you let me come out with all this leaving stuff when you got that bombshell up your sleeve? Because I didn't want you to think I was blackmailing you, and I still don't. It need not all your plans. Well, of course it does. I can't leave now. It's obvious. Why? Because of what people will think? No, because I've got to be with you. I hope you're through it. Well, it's only six months, isn't it, Dick? Think about it. Six months. You'll be a widower. You'll be respectable. Jan can move in. You can keep the Vic. Keep the bank account. Keep the car. Keep the lovely furniture. Sharon need never know. Think about it, then. It'll be very convenient. And if you can stick it out for six little months, then you'll have everything. Everything you ever wanted. Lucky old Den. Cracked it again. Ange? I'm staying because I want to. I want to be with you, all right? End of subject. Now, I can't forget this morning's conversation ever existed. What you can do about her? What are you going to tell her? I don't know. What can I tell her? Oh, I don't know. I still can't believe it. Looks so healthy. In the worst shortly. Oh, I'm a selfish bastard. I ain't even asked how you feel yet. How are we going to manage? How are we going to cope? Oh, I'll get you the best, uh, the best thing to do is to have patients with some sort of state. No, no, I don't want nothing like that, Dan. I just want Sharon and Lori and you. It's all right, you can touch me, I ain't catching. Look, I'm sorry, Angela, I'm not the best person in a thing like this, all right? I'm a total washout. Um, and it's also eight o'clock, and there's people going to turn up for work in a minute. I don't want to see anyone, all right? So I just want to get out of here, okay? You'll never see me with grey hairs and wrinkles. You'll never see me with a bunion, a middle-aged spread. I still look reasonable, don't I? I'll never look like Pat Wicks. <sighs> oh, I don't. Be like Marilyn Monroe. Always in the thirties. I've always wanted to have something in common with her. I may not have her bust and her blonde hair, but 
but we both little Peter Pans, aren't we? Then? If I ever find out you're kidding me, Edge, I'll kill you. Do you know that? I'll kill you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I seem to do it to apologize. Oh, you've got to forgive me for those terrible things I've said and done to you. I do. I didn't mean any of them. Do you believe me? No more than I would have left. Just for one of my crazy schemes. Yeah. I was a fool. I didn't think about it. We never speak that me, you. We're like... Punch and Judy. You keep hitting me on the head and I keep popping up with a string of sausages. Um, I know. What a terrible things I've made you do, Edge. Things I've driven you to. The drink. Taking the pills. Doing other things. I couldn't stop you. Oh. We scarcely even talked about it, did we? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you and Tom. Mm -hmm. Other pie men. In Spain. Andy. Then it never meant anything. Andy's dead and I'm on my way there. Yeah, just forget. Just forget it doesn't matter anymore. All right? Those things in the power. I'm just going to concentrate on the next six months, yeah? I know what the promise bit you. I'll try and let me make it up to you. I know I never can. I want to try. Yeah. So the next six months, it's going to be the best six months ever. We'll have a good times again, me and you. Uh, I don't know how. Lucky about it. 